So the education minister said last week that basically we would have um, the school boards would basically start up again. That but education would look quite a bit different. So there, some of the things they had announced was an opportunity for remote learning, whatever that may mean. So you know, for some for some students and I'm going to say slash parents that would be online but for you know say families that maybe didn't have access to online or they didn't have the equipment and things like that there were going to be other opportunities um, and that they also um, said to the the public and you know to school boards that there would be a certain amount of time um, that um, students would get education. So if you're in a very small primary, it was three hours a week and then older six. And then um, say in secondary school, they were talking, I think about nine hours. And now I'm going off the top of my head, you know, and they would be contacted by their teachers. And so really this week, and in beginning of the last week, it was really about their teachers reaching out to say their students and then slash parents. Because remember, if you have a, you know, a kid in JK or SK or you're in kinder, you know, grade one, grade two, even grade three, you're really communicating to parents. You know, so um, it can be, you know, it was through email or they were trying to phone them. I, it was secondary students. They, although they have a generated email, most of them have never used that generated email. So, you know, say teachers and staff were trying to connect through all sorts of different means of regular channels with their secondary students and whether or not they were responding. <laughs> you know, because compliant, you know, engaging is a, is a two way street. <laughs> I think for for um, some students that were used to that area, it went well. For um, students and families who weren't used to that, it was much more difficult. But I don't think that's where we were. We were really just wanting to engage, you know, say, hey, hi, how are you? It wasn't about and here's the stuff. You know, for some things, it's just going to be sent by email because we have to recognize that fa all families are in very different positions. So, you know, I mean, I actually so uh, yesterday, for example, we um, the, the board of trustees had what I call a, a mock um, Microsoft meeting. It was just about us being able to actually have a board meeting, but it wasn't a financial board meeting just to be able to get online, use the, the software and, and work with it. It was fascinating because one of our trustees, their two teenage children were in the room working on stuff too and kind of laughing at us not being you know working through the you know you could say the software and doing that but that is going to be many family situations you know and and uh, the family situation of that it's just not going to be you or your child that there's going to be other children who are also going to need attention or you're sharing you know um the soft you know the the um, the technology Right. And I think that that's that's the reality for, you know, for the majority of our families or we're just we did a survey. We sent out a survey um, not only to our families, but to our our teachers asking them how it went, <laughs> you know, and it was, you know, for some of them, they they're just, you know, trying to learn the, the technology. How is that? They're in the same boat as the, you know, their their students or their students slash families. Um, they're tr we're trying to get technology to families in, in order to help them, and so they were putting out kind of some some different kinds of glitches where they they couldn't connect, the software didn't work, or giving ideas how things could go better. Um, they talked about um, the whole thing about trying to reach out to students. They were, that was where I read about, you know, we, we generated these email for students, but they never use it. So they didn't even know to look there, you know. So it, it, but it was good to, to hear to hear that. I think um, that it's really going to be a work in progress. And it, it is absolutely all about 
remote learning. It's not necessarily online learning, but remote. So whatever remote means. Well, you know, we, we think that it's an opportunity for us to, you know, engage with our students, but we're also working with our, our partners in, in uh, health. So make no mistake, we're part, part of that picture. So whether or not um, they want to use our facilities for uh, another, you know, another reason, there's been some of those discussions that have been going on in different parts of our uh, board. Um, in what we can do so you know any kind of equipment or anything they needed of course that's you know is it's about shuffling it to to healthcare also not wanting to uh, be a part of a problem we want to be a part of a solution and not part part of a problem so you know some of the things that that went out was absolutely um safety precaution for students in terms of social distancing, washing your hands. So, you know, going kind of on a, what I call a, 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 a whiteboard, you know, that everybody can access. So, you know, really helping. And I, I will tell you that I was out the other day, uh, taking my dog out for a run and it was really great. There was a uh, two very young children on a scooter with their mother somewhere behind, you know, behind them. And they went right off the sidewalk and knew. So I, I really praised them, you know, in my two meter distance and also the mom, you know, because that you really want to uh, uh, um, make sure that they, they remain safe, their families remain safe and our community remains safe. We're all, like many of us, really living in this moment. Um, but, uh, you know, I think I can see some of those things going forward. Because remember, when they're talking about um, this virus, we're talking about 18 to 24 months. You know, it's not like all of a sudden it's going to be wiped out. So I think it's really going to change. I mean, I think cl absolutely cleaning practices are going to change in schools. And I think just the experience of, of Canadians and people in, in Bruce County and in say in King Carden area were, I think we're all changed. I mean, I, this week, my husband, he ordered groceries, you know, that were delivered. Um, I figured out how to get, you know, pet food, you know, paying basically online, picking up outside, uh, you know, you know, so the, I think we're you're really changing some of our behaviors and how we we do do our daily lives, and I think that it's going to affect all of us. Okay, I think that uh, one of the places absolutely to go is our board website. We have a huge section, you know, kind of on the virus, and but just not that. It's also about how to connect and things like that. That's that's absolutely one. Of course, another place is our Facebook page. We do allow comments. <laughs> You know, so you have suggestions or there's some, you know, concerns, you can post it there. And of course, I think that is to know um, that for, you know, any students or parents that are listening is that their student's teacher is trying to get in contact with them. And if they haven't heard anything, it's to, to, to try to contact them.